If we don't call it out, it will seem as though we condone it. Many years ago, my wife warned me. She said, anyone who comes to you and starts up a conversation, a discussion and starts um, and adds things like, in the name of God, I'm born again, I'm a pastor, you can trust me. She said, flee. First time I didn't listen. I said, no, Obi and I, and I were in school together. We go way back, he's a good guy. Well, that story didn't end well. Look, I'm a big believer in African arts and culture, but I do have to admit that a huge aspect of our African problem is our anchor to tradition. We do have a reluctance in most parts of Africa to let go. The reluctance to let go of certain aspects of our traditional culture, which has held us back and has denied us ability to embrace innovation and change. We often value the past more than we look forward to the future. Afraid to let go of our glorious heritage, which was and still is steeped in small gods, most of these gods that failed us when the white man came with superior weapons of violence. Gods of unexplainable things, gods that can never be questioned, a disdain for exploration, a persistent apathy to new ideas, and indeed a sacred duty to excommunicate those who do. And sadly, we have carried over this mindset to Christian religiousness. Touch not my anointed, you hear that all the time, has become the new cover for religious leaders and indeed political leaders who abuse their calling and exploit their flocks. See how conveniently we have moved on to the white man's gods, yet despising our own gods and unwilling to let go of our tradition. We rather enjoy the mercy of foreign gods and dread the judgment of Amadio and Shongo. Until our old ways give way to the new, we're doomed to live in this vicious cycle of self-harm and underdevelopment. When there's an abundant incentive to worship the status quo, there will equally be a corresponding high probability that we remain as we are, stagnant, and accusing others of our failure to move forward. Even within government and public service, there's a certain aversion to knowledge and rigor. Especially in Nigeria, this is my own personal experience, we want the best of everything, but abhor the hard work required. It is after all cheaper to call on God or blame others. We claim we want development, yet we delight in a destructive mentality of scarcity and anchor of tradition. Development and progress requires us to let go, question the status quo, embrace possibilities, and constantly adapt. Otherwise, the distance between what we hope for, wish for, pray for, and what we actually get will grow even further. <laughs> Say, do you want to jump in? <laughs> <laughs> <He's> like, mm. <laughs> uh, well, um, it's um, issues is concerning. One? It's a tough one. Okay. It's a tough one and very sensitive, you know, because of how you know emotionally yeah. charged we get when it comes to issue of religion. You know, um, um, a whole lot has you know changed. Yeah. I mean, earlier we we're talking about you know how you know, um, religion, different religions. And for me, I think um, it's, it's, I, I, I want to be very you careful. Be. Why I just are you being be so very, careful? Nothing will careful. happen. Uh, yeah, I, I be <laughs> You're among friends. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to be very careful with, with, with We'll deal with you. Mm. Maybe I'll just okay, let you come. Well, yeah, I think, I think, yes, I, I, when I, you know, listening to it, um, I, it resonated completely with me. It's true, we don't want to let go of our tradition, when, and yet, at the same time, there are certain very important anchors within that tradition that, we're, so that we've so easily let go of, and, um, uh, and that's why we're going to be contradicting ourselves for, for very many years. Even as an architect, um, my buildings don't look Nigerian, don't look Nigerian, but they are Nigerian, because spatial hierarchy, and space organization of you know of spaces within the buildings that I do are drawn from uh, historical examples of Nigerian buildings. So I'm sure a lot of people were surprised at a lecture recently where somebody was saying uh, Igbo architecture and uh, <laughs> mentioned three architects who he felt were Igbo today's architects. today's Igbo architects. There was me. And I'm sure that drew shock from everybody because, like, that guy's a modernist, I mean, you know, and all that. And what it is is very simple. There are a lot of people who, in our field, uh, feel that um, unless it looks like that 
Igbo building from 100 years ago, then it isn't. And that's not true. We must make progress. It's a must. Mm -hmm. There must be that evolution and movement and innovation. We have to, you know, I'm not saying change for change's sake. But you have to. Times are different, and you can't tell me that the same thing solves the problems uh, of today. Uh, uh, well, I mean, my, my issue, I, I, I like the fact that you are looking for, I call it a backstory, mm -hmm. as to why we are the way we are. You're trying to, because I think, like, like we just discussed, mm -hmm. xenophobia, unless you puzzle these things, unless you apply your mind to it, you're in danger of just ending up in this cycle of, and not understanding what is triggering certain behavior, certain attitudes. And it's clear we seem to be caught in a kind of what? It's a circle. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. but, but I, I, there, there's certain things for me that are contradictory in what you're saying. So, um, for example, and I'll let you answer when I finish, I'm not clear what is the old and what is the new. Mm. And I'm not clear, for me, it would work better to sort of say, okay, we have a certain way of approaching things as a people, and that right. plays out in the way we do politics, in the way we practice religion, and even in the way we relate to our fellow human, even in the way we do business. Because I know uh, my, my in-law, who is South African, just happens to be, was saying to me that we have a way of white South African, we have a way of revering that his problem with the way we do business is that we still carry on this reverence, you know, which translates to nepotism. We still want to, we don't want to hold people accountable in ways that we should. And so we don't practice professionally yeah. within our business systems. So he has a problem with the way, you know, you oga, oga, oga. So you won't make the oga be transparent mm -hmm. and give you, and so he sees that in, in the way we relate to ourselves. And, in, and he would like to see more of, why haven't you done this in a professional capacity? That way, maybe we'll have systems that work for us. And he sees it in our politics. He sees it in our religious practices. You know, taught not my anointed. So that's the way I would want to approach that. We're already a people who are predisposed to be a bit too reverential for reasons we haven't even articulated to ourselves. And so we find it hard. You know, like I, I, I as you all know, I, I, I practice. I'm a Christian. But I always have issues in church gatherings because I refuse to call anybody daddy or mommy. And I tell them the reason I won't do that is because I want people to hold you accountable the day you say something outside of what is scriptural. And they don't like the way I approach my own because I say, you're not God. Mm -hmm. You're just an instrument that God could use, but you could also deviate. So I want mm -hmm. to be watching you from enough of a distance. I don't, I don't subscribe to all this mentoring, mentoring. Yeah, yeah. And people come to me and they say, I say, don't mentor. Because I can easily adopt, I can watch Seidu without him becoming my mentor. And yes. I can take things from him. Yeah, you know, I can, you know, you will know. I don't need to take everything from me because I know that the day you then step outside of what is right, I will, know, I will, I will quickly abandon. abandon why must I yeah. mark your footsteps? Why, am I, why are we always looking for someone to come under? So those are my issues with us. And I wish we were less like that and more critical, more holding people accountable and understanding that we have a right to say to someone, why are you doing what you're doing? Give us an account of your, your, your stewardship without fear, without you know, feeling as if you've done something wrong. You know, you know, so, so, so the reason for this advocacy or this premise is that I find that, you know, um, when I mean culture and tradition, there's certain things. So we, we want to live in two worlds. The, 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 the African, modern African wants to live in two worlds. Mm. We want to live in the world of, of the, the Western, Western white world. Yes. And we also want to hold back to a tradition. And so you're caught. Between in, this, yeah. in this two, uh, you're not the young generation are even more cost. Yeah, you're not able to move forward. Um, and I find it from how we dress, how we, how we talk, how the issue of who we hold accountable, you want to hold this person accountable. So he's an old man, respect him. Mm. But the man is doing something wrong. Mm. He's not doing his job. You say, ah, but you know he's an old man. You know we're, not, we're supposed to respect our elders. Yeah. Heck no. If he's not yeah. fit for the job, he's not Tell fit him. for the Professor job. Shrink on the yeah. plane. <laughs> it's it's, it's mm. his wrong, he's wrong. It's not a question of whether because he's an old man. Mm. You know, in fact, the reason why he's an, if he's an old man, he should know better. Yeah, should mm. know better. He should know better. Mm. So this thing about you have people in churches, um, even though he's a knight of the Catholic Church, someone has died, they go to the village, the woman must shave her hair, must wash the body mm. of yeah. the of And the drink dead, the water drink of the, the water. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it is a knight. Then he will tell you in church, yeah. ah, you know, Mr. Mbai, you know, this is leave church things for church, or this one is tradition. Mm. Mm. You what the heck? Give lose to Caesar one. what is Caesar. Yeah, yeah. Let's lose one. Let's yeah. lose. Yes. If you're going to go, because you cannot, you cannot. And that is why in Western Europe, in the age of Reformation, and, and they had to lose yeah, something. something. So, but let me ask forward. you, because you cannot. Let me can, and, and that's a problem with modern religion I here agree. today. Mm -hmm. yeah. That we sit in this new, brave new Nigeria, and we hold, and that's why you find so much religion, and yet so much poverty, and yet so much struggle, corruption so much and corruption. everything. Mm -hmm. Because people will always excuse it, it is God. Yeah. God is the most convenient vehicle, but it's not our God. Because if you tell somebody, swear with Amadioha, 
In fact, I'll just swear, I'll, swear, I'll, swear. I'll, okay, I'll, okay, I'll stand back. You're going to office now. Let's take you to to the swear, swear. He will not. He will say, "Give me the Bible," because mm. he, he believes that that, that God is very distant. That God is very forgiving. He will not follow the God of his uh, his, uh, his village. Mm. I was going to say so, that if the National Assembly members were asked to swear by Amadioha and Shongo and the you. rest, a lot of them will not. <laughs> yes. I'm not sure. But quite. Don't face I it. Don't, I, don't I, face I have it. a reason for why they swear. may not do that. Right. But I will. Because I will. They, I, I will yeah, be because they know, they know yeah. the consequences. I will, I will, they will I will never be sidetracked. It's not direct. It's not direct. I don't agree, with, I don't agree with you guys, but I won't go there, so I won't get distracted. Let me let me go where I want to go, and where I want to go is, I wanted to ask you, I wanted to ask you, first I want to agree with you that the reason we have this sort of, we're stuck between two worlds as it is, and I'm fascinated by that, and why we don't seem to be seen bearing fruit in one area, is that we lack conviction, one way or the other, so you have to, you have to believe in something enough to put your whole life into it. That's how it becomes your identity. You know, you really believe in this thing and, and, and you, you, you live by it. Um, but I was gonna ask you about the UK because the UK are very traditional people to a point where people say, oh, these people worship all these their, you know, monuments and, and they, they love it. That's part of who they are. It hasn't held them back from embracing innovation. No, no, so I'm not trying to say that. No, are you no, trying to say that oh, we must? No, no, no. You know? let, let, me, let, me, let me say something about that. Mm. They have separated that. It is ceremonial. It is meant, look, it's like, it's, oh yes, it's just it is ceremonial, it's part of the history. Yeah. They don't bring it, and that's why even within the British political system, the fact of the Queen being the head of government is ceremonial. Mm -hmm. The laws, everything is still done by the British parliamentary governance. So it's not that the Japanese are not religious. It is not that the Chinese Which are not are religious. Yeah. It is not that the Indonesians are not religious. It is not that the, uh, the people in Singapore are not religious. But they understand it that that is a tool for, to build a society that's cohesive, that's modern, that's civilized, that respects one another's rights. No, but let me, let me, make, so, let so, me present so an I, alternative. No. no, because you, you've made the presentation. Let me give you an alternative perspective. It could, it's not necessarily the, the dominance of the religion practice that is at stake here. It's the fact that they don't, we don't do it with conviction. We don't do it, because if you were to practice, let's say Christianity, because that's what's being tabled here, genuinely and sincerely, like people like you know, John Wesley, Charles Wesley, some of these people who gave their whole, the, the founding fathers of yeah. the British system then, the Judeo-Christian, you know, you would do it, in, so even the Israelis, I mean, for goodness sake, and they're so progressive, if you were to practice it sincerely, it would turn you into a genuine human being, but we see that what is being practiced in Nigeria is not Christianity, really. That's my point. It's a covetous version of it. That's my point. So, so it's not, so rather than say, oh, we've made it the all in all, we've not made it anything at all. We're no, still, so we, we the God it, we worship is still money that, that's and ourselves. That's okay. my point. Mm -hmm. just point is that we use yeah, it as a cover. We're still worshiping so ourselves. we're conflicted, so we use it as a cover to do the things, and we use it so that when we, when we are caught doing one thing, we go like this. Mm. So it's better if we're gonna go in the direction of, of Judeo-Christian. Mm. You go, you go, you go that way. direction. Yes. So my point is- And then our point. laws and everything yes, line up. we follow from that, because you cannot have someone who goes, I'm gonna go and do traditional wedding. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go and do church wedding. wedding. Yes. What does that so, no, 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 no. I have no problem with traditional and church. So, no, leave that one. That's our discussion for another oh, day. So, We're so, out of time. So, so, no, no, you're mixing issues okay. now. We uh, have to I mean, leave I'm that one. Issues. Part two. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, dialogue continues to be the best way to build bridges. We trust we have gone some way towards bridging gaps in our conversations towards national development. Now it's your turn. Keep your comments coming in on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa. Hashtag the advocate ng or on Twitter and Instagram at plus TV Africa hashtag advocate ng. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time, let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye bye. 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 Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, Everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics and enjoys for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. it's really. disastrous for a president to, even say to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a very terrible. Backfire. Very <laughs> terrible strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and 
quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Yeah.